So here we are in the bus station. We've just got off the bus and we're just heading down Lonsdale Quay to the sea bus to get into Vancouver City. And here it comes, here comes our sea bus coming into dock. This is going to take us over to Vancouver City. Big old beast, isn't it? Big old bus, eh? And here we go, you can see the CBD just across the river there. There's a seagull flying in front of us, enjoying the journey. And that white building that looks like sails coming out of it, that's the sea bus station where it docks. The very size of the city is quite scary. It makes Reykjavik look like a little fishing village. And here we are coming into dock. So this is the grand old waterfront station I was in the other night when I was seriously panicking about where I was going to go. <laughs> and thinking that I was being over, overly melodramatic and thinking that I had to sleep under a tree somewhere. This is a bit worrying, we've just seen all this person lighting is just scattered in the middle of the street. It's a bit weird, it's like someone's been abducted. I'm in Vancouver City, but I want some London drugs! So, we're following Granville Street to get to Granville Island. Because it's supposed to be quite hip and cool down there. And there's lots of microbreweries. Also, I've seen my first hot dog stand. So that's impressive. So here we are, downtown, heading into downtown. Back there, there's all the high rises. And the layout is changing somewhat the further we go down. You knew it was bound to happen, didn't you? I only went and found myself a comic book shop. There's some really cool stuff in here. I've got to just show you some of the things. You know. Look, yeah, if I hear from them all Game of Thrones pillows up there. There's a Deadpool money box, a Harley Quinn money box. It's just so cool, uber cool. Comic books, loads of comic books. I'm about to have, I'm about to explode with nerdiness and geekness. Oh, and I found something that's really amazing. All these hats, I might have to buy this. I found a Deadpool beanie. Look at that. I think that's worth a purchase. I also found a Stormtrooper beanie and a Boba Fett beanie, complete with Ariel. <laughs> so cool. Then down here, down the end, we have all the old vintage comic books. Issue one of Spawn over there. Attack on Titan mask. <laughs> Infinity Gauntlet bottle opener. They've got it all. They really have. And we've finally come to the end. I may be some time in here. So like I said before guys, there's some unbelievably cool stuff in here. And I've just spotted up the top there. A Wampa rug from Star Wars. 
200 bucks. <laughs> He's pretty cool. And um, over here, we've got Zelda Monopoly. So I'm here outside the weapon shop. I'm just going to go in now because I need to buy a machete for when I get to the wilderness. So we're still on Granville, going down heading towards Granville Island. We found a peep show for only 25 cents. <laughs> Let's go get some grub in here. So I'm here in the two parrots on the corner of Granville and Davy. I've just ordered a veggie supreme omelette uh, with Monterey Jack cheese. All my cutlery and stuff is there. And I've just ordered a Stanley Park beer which is a local uh, beer from Vancouver and to be honest it tastes lovely all the beer over here tastes lovely check out this mahoosive veggie omelette it's great look at that I've got my sauces there and the guy's bringing me some peanut butter as well sorted oh cheers mate that's that's awesome thanks for that so I've decided the best way to eat this is to put the peanut butter on the toast Got some of these fried onions on there. Get some of the omelette on there as well. Just sort of pile it up like. Add a little bit of the uh, green relish. some of the uh, Diablo hot sauce as well just on there. This is kind of like it's like a creamy hot sauce. And then finally stick my fork right in it. And eat, eat that. Mm. Mm. That is gorgeous. So many nice flavours in there. So we're here on Next Tattoo in Vancouver. And I'm getting my second passport stamp tattooed, my Canadian passport stamp. So I'm really looking forward to it. And my tattooist is called Van. There he is, preparing the tattoo. And um, I should let you know how it goes. Yeah. It's Next Tattoo, isn't it? And, yep, you go to the next uh, two. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the look of that. Yeah. I just think this is really cool because this concrete factory is still working. It's not abandoned or anything. Look, you can see the concrete coming out now. Look. And they've just done this to their factory. They've painted it as these like massive modern day totem poles. And I just think that is so cool, you know. Bumba. So we're just heading under the underpass now, onto Granville Island. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to Granville Island. I just have to show you these tea trays. They're amazing, they're made out of circuit boards. That would look amazing having a tea party, wouldn't it? Bringing it out on that.
found some more chocolate, some green tea, some really nice ones here. You know how I love my chocolate. But I found a hot one there with lime. But what really interests me, and I think I might get one, because now I love my tea as well. They've combined the two here. Blue grey chocolate. Mm. I might have to get one of those. Tomato and basil. <laughs> Apple and cinnamon. It goes on, it really does. Pepper mango. Salted caramel down there. Oh, they all look good. I don't, it's so confusing about what to choose. And there's a classic maple leaf there as well. When you see stuff like this, you can understand why Canadians and Americans get to the size that they get to. I mean, just look at the choices of all the cakes. It's crazy. They look beautiful, though. Right? Very colourful. It's a beautiful day here today in Granville Island. The sun has just come out now, so it looks really nice. I've got my double cream Earl Grey there. Double cream and vanilla, actually. Um, and I've got my Earl Grey chocolate as well to try. I'm going to try now, actually. Mmm. Lovely. Mm, so nice to be here. And I don't know if you can hear it or not. The squeeze box man is playing in the background. Damn funky. So here we are on Pier 32 on Granville Island in Vancouver, and I could so easily live here. Look how cute these little houses are on the waterfront. I bet they cost a mint though, but wouldn't it just be excellent to live in one of these? They're so quirky, I love them. A long way home, it is indeed. I especially like the shark and I like the pug in the end. <laughs> they all look like they've been smoking dope. And now something every sandwich lover should own. The Spam Lunchbox. Hmm. Here we have a wobbly bobblehead Jesus, a bobblehead Kitty, and a wobbly bobbly Buddha. That'd be a good name for a band, wouldn't it? Wobbly bobbly Buddha. That's that's patent now. It's copyright. So if any bands come out with wobbly bobbly wobbly bobbly wobbly bobbly Buddha, then that's plagiarism. You saw it here first. So cool in here. If I had the money, I would buy everything in this shop. Oh, I love the moose. Oh, the moose is brilliant. We're in a convenience store in Vancouver, and I just love it how you can just buy all the regular things, you know, like you know, Pringles and you know, sodas and all that. And then in the corner, got a nice selection of bongs. I'm going downville. I'm straight out of Granville. Bitch. First cop car. It's 
right next to a hot dog stand. How cliche is that? Say goodbye to the concrete dudes. Goodbye, concrete dudes. And say goodbye to the little houses on the waterfront. Goodbye, little houses on the waterfront. Right, so I'm here in Vancouver and I'll just show you what I bought today. Um, went for a little bimble around Granville Island and got myself a machete. Now I'm going out to the wilderness so I'm going to probably need this to hack away at the foliage. Um, but you should really never get one of these out at a party around lots of drunk people. Because here's what happens. <laughs> this is Dave <laughs> shaving his arm hair off with the machete. Look at the shit that's coming. Look at that oh, hair! Oh, it's just oh, oh, it's oh, it's oh, 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 Look at that dropping oh, on the floor. Oh, that is his arm hair. Look, look, look. look it is. It, 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 that's wrong. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, oh, no. Don't do the face! Don't do the face! <laughs> oh, no. Let's have a look at turn the face! No. <laughs> Luckily Dave didn't shave his balls with the machete, otherwise we may have had to have taken a trip down to the hospital. <laughs> you alright? Now uh, guys, let me know if you like these videos, um, if what you want to see more of, and I'll try and sort it for you. Um, other than that, take it easy, and I'll just see you on the flip side.